Yeti Punk. Ah, Yeti Punk, how you doing, brother? Pop culturist. Greetings all. Chicho, have you been reading any good comics? Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. I've been reading some amazing comics. Should I bring show you to you? Man, I'm going to bring it because Yeti Punk. Yeti Punk is an artist and he sent me uh, some of his art and stuff like this. And he does comics and he, he does amazing art, right? So, Yeti Punk, I'm going to bring you a couple of comics, two comics. It's easy. Two comics that I've read that I love. Independence. Watch this. Hold on. I'll be right back. We're going to do readings of one of them. books i'm always up for comic books man <laughs> hey hold on hold on let me put my thing with you on here check this out now these are comics that i picked up uh, if you know you know i've told the story before but i'll say it again just for people uh these are comics that i picked up like three years ago now for 25 cents a pop right so i bought a whole few hundred comic books for 25 cents each for the last three years I've been going through those comics, right? I'm into my last box of these comics that I bought, right? So uh, I'll show you, I'll, I'll give it to you in, uh, but I'll show you the one that is amazing. Yeti Punk and everybody else, you guys will fucking love this. I, I didn't know this until I read this. I was like, wait a second, what the hell's going on? So this one I just finished reading. It's issue number one of The Buzz Chronicles. From Epic Comics. This was this was a good read. This was a really fun read, right? Really fun read. From Epic Comics. The artwork is fucking beautiful. Like Wrightson style. But it's not Wrightson. Alright, check this out. I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna show you this. Hold on, check this out. So really nice comic. Like great storytelling. Sci-fi, right? But I'm gonna show you a panel. And this is going to make you go, wait a second. This is right, some man. Check this out. Check this out. Like, what the F? I, I, look, I read the name of the artist, the creators for this. And then I came to this uh, splash page. I went, wait a second. That's Bernie Wrightson, man. And I had to go back to make sure it wasn't Bernie Wrightson. Look at that. That's a Bernie Wrightson, Wrightson splash page. Like, really. Like, super cool. Super cool. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat, gang. Right? Cheryl says, looks Novu. Like, look at this. That's, that's a ricin person hanging in themselves. Right? That looks fucking amazing. And it's a really good story. Right? Beautiful artwork. Nice storytelling. Right? Set in the UK, London, in... What's the timeline? I forget what the timeline is. Uh, in the 1800s, I think. Okay, super cool. And this guy's like an alien dude. Okay, it's a, it's like a, what do you call it? Uh, it's for sure, it's like Redstone, isn't it? It's like a, um, what do you call it? detective? Like Sherlock Holmes type of thing with psycho, uh, sci-fi like twisted uh, story to it. Okay. So this was super good super good and then this one i put a little thing nice sci-fi whoops where is it nice sci-fi right uh, dragon star from Ma matrix graphics series this was really nice sci-fi right and this is issue number one okay issue number one dragon star black and white right but nice storytelling, nice artwork, right? 
Deepflix on Twitch. How are you doing? Oh, I used to use, go to my local library and read a lot of graphic novels. I just haven't yet. Haven't for a while anyway. Right? So this was good sci-fi. And then check this out. Check this out, gang. For you movie lovers, check this out. I called it an excellent read. And I, I, we're going to read this. We're going to read this. Check this out. Holiday special from now comics a boy and his bot right a boy and his bot okay there is so much heart in this comic it'll blow you away i looked up the story of the artist what this was about i posted it on our gilded server in comic books okay now this came out in 1988 i think okay Airboy, yeah, yeah, B uh, BJ, I've read some Airboy. Check this out. This came out in 1987, and it's by Gary Thomas Washington. Gary Thomas Washington. And if you know names in the United States and stuff like this, uh, once you read the name Gary Thomas Washington, you, you knew he was a, he's a black guy, right? So I knew he was black just from his name. Was it 1987 was a good year, right? And so I was like, wait a second. This sort of, I was born in 1987. I was like, hmm, this looks like sort of like, reminds me of a kid and a big robot, right? And then check this out. Check out the artwork on this. Like this is kid friendly. You could read this for your kid, any old, any age kid, right? Beautiful artwork. It's a kid standing on top of a rock. See the star falling down, right? Look at the artwork, right? This is basically Iron Giant, 10 years before Iron Giant. Okay, I think there's only two issues in this series, two or three, and I don't have two or three okay and it's just man it's just beautiful I was reading this I was like what a cute awesome story like if I had any kids I'd be reading this to them every night I I shit you not right it's just such a cute cool story never heard of that one before. yeah either had I either had I right one guy created this work right it man it, it's got so much heart so much heart okay yeah yeti punk i love iron giant i love iron giant right like amazing amazing it, it like man i had a grin on my face from here to here reading this i was like <gasps> like so awesome like look at this look at this so yeah yeti punk to answer your question i've been reading some amazing indie comics some amazing indie comics and some you know main comics as well and yeah he passed away the the creator for this passed away uh Aldegas saying rest in peace i wrote up the story i tracked the story down um on someone made a post about who this person was and he was supposed to be gary thomas washington he was supposed to be an amazing guy right amazing guy and um you know like the comic book industry is brutal right a lot of amazing creators have uh, have been chewed up and spat out right and um you know he passed away i think he was 56 55 in the mid 50s or something uh he, he passed out uh, he passed out. He passed. Uh, so, man, th th I hope he's watching from wherever he's watching. If he's still around, uh, knowing that uh, someone as old as me, he brought joy to their life uh, by coming across this comic, right? So, salute, salute to uh, Gary. To Gary 
Thomas Thomas Washington okay Gary Thomas Washington and the comic book a boy and his bot salute to the to the unknown creators that put out put out so much love right amazing 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 Gary Thomas Washington born June 16th 1963 uh, passed August 21st 2019 Elder God posted this and he's gonna he, he, he's posting some of the story on it so I'm gonna read it thank you Elder God so I'm gonna read this quote in my opinion a boy and his bot was probably his best work it was uh, this cute touching story about a young boy uh, who befriends a sentient sentient giant robot this was 10 plus years before the iron giant by the way anyhow this book more than any other um, what uh, other was Gary it was charming and filled with soul I think all of us or at least uh, all of us who grew up with uh, Tetsujin 28 or giant ro robo uh, wished we were that boy at some point he both wrote and did the art for it salute Gary cigar for Gary thank you all God 